After someone dies and a friend or a family member are grieving, we often wonder what we should say or what we should do. The reality is there's not much we can say because there's not any real words to take away the pain. But so often it's not just wondering what we say and do. We don't want to make a mistake. We don't want to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing and make it worse. Try to relax, because no matter what you say, usually people won't remember it anyway, unless it's something particularly stupid like a cliché or an easy answer. They'll be resentful of that, but they won't remember what you say. They, they may remember what you do, but more than anything, they'll remember who you are. They'll remember that you were there. A wonderful speaker once said, people may not remember what you say or do, but they will remember how you made them feel. That's all you have to do for a grieving person. Make them feel like you care. So you may do that in ways like listening. Grieving people need to talk and talk and talk and talk, repetitively sometimes, telling the same stories over and over. We listen not just with our ears, but with our entire body language. So watch your facial expressions. Watch how your, 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 your body language is coming across to that person. If they're telling you something particularly horrifying, make sure you're not going, oh, because that will shut them down. They won't want to respond because they think they're upsetting you. So listen. Try to make a specific offer of help. Don't say to people, now if there's anything I can do, don't hesitate to let me know. <laughs> We've all done it, haven't we? But you see, the problem is the person isn't going to ask. The person isn't going to respond. They don't know what they need. So be specific. Can I do this for you? And they'll be able to respond yes or no easier than they would to coming up with some idea of how you can help. Encourage the verbalization of their feelings. They need to talk. They need to put it into words. So how are you feeling today? Let's talk about these emotions. Encourage them to relive their memories, to talk about the person, not just the memories around the death, which can be very difficult, but the memories of their life, which can bring so much comfort and so much peace. Remember, you can't fix anything. Nobody can, but you can make a difference. And really, that's what it's all about.